The third phase of testing is the anti-human globulin test. Um, at this stage, after we washed the cells and we removed all of the excess patient serum, we add two drops of our anti-human globulin. We are adding anti-IgG. We add two drops to each test tube. You resuspend the, suspend the cell button and you mix it and centrifuge for 15 seconds. Remove the test tubes from the centrifuge and we are going to resuspend the cell button looking for agglutination. Just hold them so I can see the cell button. Now you gently resuspend looking for agglutination. There are no positive reactions in these test tubes. That means the patient's serum does not have any antibody to any red cell reagents or any red cell antigens. For the second sample we are also going to check we suspend This is a positive reaction. You can see the agglutination in, this, in the test tubes. That means this patient has antibodies to red cell antigens, and we would have to investigate to determine what it is. With the negative anti-human globulin test, we have to add one drop of our complement of our Coombs control cells or check cells. These are O positive cells that are coated with I. G G. You spin them. This is a control quality control test. The anti-IgG that was added should be free to bind onto the check cells that are coated with IgG. You again shake them and check for agglutination. This time you want to have a positive agglutination. This means that your negative anti-human globulin test was valid. This is the anti-human globulin testing in all three phases.